Hello, everyone, and welcome back to This Week in Guns. It's brought to you by Patriot Patch Company, VZ Grips, Tac Pack, MAF, and Primary Arms. This show offers commentary on the latest firearms industry news, information, and buzz. I'm your host, Matthew Rosier, and I'm here today with a very special, very special, confirmed by all of his physical education teachers throughout middle and high school, co-host. And that's Mr. Ivan the Troll. Ivan, so good to see you. Hi, this is me. Yeah. <laughs> I'm I'm dizzy. <laughs> that's what you look like. That's it's true. How are you doing today? I'm doing good. It was a it was a pretty good day. Yeah. I, I shot <laughs> he, I, I shot at a gun. You shot a gun. <laughs> <laughs> it was very cool. Well, uh, hold on. So you shot a gun. Well, don't yeah. worry. You know, it'll it, it's hard the first time. <laughs> it, it'll wear off. Does it get easier? <laughs> it was so hard. That was a thing he did a little while ago. He posted on Twitter. Just <laughs> You've been doing an amazing job of Twitter trolling lately. Because he literally I'm just good. posted out of nowhere. I shot a gun today. And he was and... getting these responses from like random boobers. <laughs> <laughs> like oh it's okay you gotta use what kind of gun did you shoot and i responded with shot and then a space and then gun just yeah, i mean just just to like just to like stir the pot a little yeah. bit more and then i got lots of people telling me oh, it's really hard to start with the shotgun you should start with a 22 instead <laughs> <laughs> and i told them that it was a 22 shot space gun <laughs> yeah, didn't you say like it hurt or something yeah yeah I, there was oh, yeah, a couple no, you... people there's a couple people scared. who were doing like the oh it was so scary like it, it, it won't be so bad and so I figured I'd, I'd play into that and I was like I was shaking and crying afterwards and then got a couple people to fall for it and be like oh you you little bitch you oh, pussy <laughs> it's good oh my god that's so funny well but anyway man it's uh it's great to have you on here I forgot yeah. to pull up all of the ads ahead of time <laughs> but let's talk about our first advertiser. Woo-hoo. Have you ever heard of a little known company called Primary Arms? Yeah, there's once upon a time that they 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 had a scope and then I had that scope and then <laughs> it was good and I shot stuff. <laughs> just, yeah. I shot a gun. <laughs> that's, that's actually true. They had the scope, but then it became your scope. Well, let me tell you right now, there's a deal. Uh, if you use code FRN, that's Foxtrot Romeo November, and you buy the Primary Arms GLX1 through six by 24 ffp first focal plane rifle scope uh you will get a free mount it's a free mount and uh you can see the specifics on this deal it's good until november 31st but uh i mean that's (laughs) i just i just just accidentally because i I put in the word skew i was trying to pull it up Wow, I'm really having a difficulty this time. <laughs> there we go. Here we go. This one. No, this is the one through eight. You need the... Anyway, if, if you look at it on the uh, on frn.deals, uh, you know, firearmsradio.net slash PA has all of the current offers, and it's always a great deal on a scrope. So, wow, it is literally not. <laughs> Do you see this right now? <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> well, any <laughs> get, get away from me. Uh, the <laughs> <laughs> website. Let me see if I can actually get to it. Yeah, this is the one. Yeah, it's three ninety nine. That's a nice scrope. Yeah, I like I like the lip vos. Yeah, yeah, lip vos are nice. I like to put them on my 308s. Yeah, that's that true. Way I, can, I put one on my 308. I, I like to pretend like I'm a, you know, like I'm a snipper. And I I'm move mis- the... <laughs> I'm Mr. Chris Sniper Man. <laughs> yeah, I'm Mr. Chris Sniper of the American Gun Movie. <laughs> and I move it all the way to the big zo- zoom. Yeah. And, I, and I shoot the can and I see it go... Pfft. Right through their own scope. Like through their scope. The can <laughs> scope. <laughs> Yeah, the cans <laughs> never, never knew it was them. So yeah, that's the mount you're gonna get. The primary arms deluxe AR-15 scope mount. And don't be uh you know scared of this because it's not just for AR-15s. You can actually put it on a good gun too. <laughs> it's, just, it's just a regular pickle tinny. Yeah, and the, the mounts themselves are actually pretty pretty nice. Yeah, 
No, nothing wrong with any of this stuff. They do the job. But yeah, okay, so for three ninety nine, that gets you a whole setup. That's a pretty good deal. So as always, support Primary Arms. They support us, and you get to have the thing that was previously theirs, and then you get to shot the gun. Yes, shotgun. <laughs> shotgun. <laughs> so, <laughs> so there's one thing we've talked about a lot, and I've gotten a lot of heat on, and every time... Every time I talk about this, people are like, <laughs> like, and so here we go again. And you actually called this to my attention. The police released the uh, the files from the Alex Baldwin uh, <laughs> shoot 'em scene. <laughs> shoot 'em scene. <laughs> the That's good. That happened there. <laughs> <laughs> the notable Las Vegas that happened yeah. on the scene of rust. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> which which did cause supplies to dwindle. Um, but yeah, so Santa Fe County Sheriff's Office released its report into the fatal shooting on the set of Rust, which reveals text messages the actor sent in the days and weeks after the incident. And there's some pretty funny ones where he kind of gets <laughs> he gets kind of schizo posty. Uh, this is a, a a text he sent to um, the husband of Helena Hutchins, right? Important for you to keep in mind, the Santa Fe Sheriff's Office may lack both the skill and the will to properly investigate the sabotage angle. <laughs> I'm told their agenda is to write off as an accident and throw it to the civil courts. And yet, the more that is presented to me about certain anomalies that day, the more open-minded I become. I dismissed the sabotage claim initially, but not now. I hope these NM have the sense to follow it through. That's, uh, that's something. <laughs> how is this happening to me who could have done this to me <laughs> yeah. wow so uh yeah there's also this weird i have to delete my archive text that he sent yeah it's a normal uh, thing to have to text people <laughs> but he uh, apparently he was referring to his twitter archive which he has long considered delete right which is exactly yeah <laughs> and that's why people have lawyers <laughs> <laughs> Your honor, my client is clearly an idiot. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he was talking about his Twitter archive. Yeah. So this is a. This is, and there was also a lawsuit, right? Um, <laughs> including one by Alec Baldwin, where he <laughs> sued everyone else that was there. Which um, is really impressive, because uh, like like in this report, probably the most the most weird thing that i saw come out of it was uh when, when alec baldwin was voluntarily talking with the cops which is a strange thing to do after you accidentally shoot someone right. on purpose uh the, the I don't, one of we the, don't know if it was on purpose remember this is a uh, he, he, he accidentally did it on purpose on this is a uh, plausible deniability uh nuance family household there we go so uh the, the, the whenever he was talking to the cops afterwards he he said that he has like great experience with firearms and has been trained in the safe handling of firearms on a lot of different movies which is which is strange to me from a standpoint of like I, I don't know i feel like if such a horrible accident had to strike you i wouldn't like go around saying i know everything about handling guns safely and this couldn't <laughs> have been my fault <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> like uh you were the one handling the gun why would you admit to being good at it you just shot someone very interesting I don't know. I, I feel. I feel like th that's one of those moments where, like, your the the whatever lawyer is going to end up representing you is sitting there with his head in his hands, like, well, at least I'll get paid, because uh, you're going to make some work for him. Well, it was also announced that the film will restart production next year. <laughs> that's really important. I was I was really excited to see this one. It was a tra <laughs> the, the real tragedy here is that I'll have to wait a whole nother year for this movie no one heard about until the thing happened. <laughs> I mean, we were all painfully awaiting the movie <laughs> that, we, that we heard about after the thing happened, right? Yeah, that's true. But listen, there's there's another thing that we're going to have to talk about here, and it's how <clears throat> judges and state legislaturators are making everything so difficult. Yeah? For police officers and civilians. Oh, for for, for police officers yeah, and so, civilians. Yeah, so you have to... <laughs> yeah, <we can't. laughs> <laughs> this is for you guys who don't know, police officers are civilians. So. <laughs> what an interesting <laughs> distinction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, so this is a think piece on um, NBC News. So this isn't necessarily the opinion of NBC News, but it is that of 
Michael S. Harrison, Commissioner of the Baltimore Police Department, and Walter Katz, Vice President of Criminal Justice at Arnold Ventures. So these are clearly mm. non lizards. Hmm. Yeah, these um, people, these people, they, they they don't even sit in the sun to to, to air out their scales. They don't do that. <laughs> yeah, no, they have a little lamp. Yeah. Um, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, no, they, they, it's important. They talk about how, as policymakers are rolling back these gun laws, officers have to worry that nearly every civilian has the means to use deadly force. Can you, can you believe that? <laughs> wow. Subjects, subjects are not supposed to have these means. Yeah. And so then I'm here, they're just deriding that, oh, the, the, the judge said that. It's unconstitutional to protect people, to prevent people from ever having a gun for a misdemeanor. Can you believe that? <laughs> That's just one of the latest examples in a troubling trend initiated by the Supreme Court's ruling in, in Bruin, which, which signaled the potential for a wave of court-mandated rollbacks. And well, and listen, a lot of people haven't thought about this, but a consequence here is how relaxing gun laws will prevent police officers from doing their jobs properly <laughs> before before brewing cops perfect job <laughs> after, after brewing after brewing cops and shambles can't do job yeah cops cannot do job this is amazing and why because because someone in in new york might be able to to have a to gun maybe mm -hmm. so they can't do no no cop well no dude job. it's simple this year alone officers have seized more than 2200 guns illegally carried on the streets of baltimore that's if a shame. Are the guns Maryland, okay? <laughs> <yeah>. <laughs> well, if it weren't for Maryland's gun licensing law, officers would, would, would not be sure if you're allowed to have a gun. And so whether or not they can steal it would be an issue. <laughs> it's, it's dangerously vague uncertainty. <laughs> but before this, anyone could have a gun and we might be able to arrest them afterwards. <laughs> anyone could have a gun. We can't put them in jail. Yeah. <laughs> this means that police will be required to make more split-second decisions that risk <laughs> tragic outcomes. On, taser, taser, taser! On both sides <laughs> of the badge. <laughs> both sides of the badge. That's great writing. You can tell a prosecutor wrote that. <laughs> yeah, they're just talking nonsense. The serial numbers are critical to helping police solve crimes. No, they aren't. No, they're <laughs> Never. Not. Yeah, like, name one time that the cops have, like, done anything with them and of course well, people will be like oh well no there was that one time they, they found that the gun owned, was owned by the guy after they had the guy already yeah, after the guy turned himself in like yeah, yeah, they, yeah. they sure Whoa, stopped him so wow so many lives were sitting no but listen <laughs> no. as the tide moves in the direction of more guns on the streets and fewer regulations police chiefs they're going to be the first to point out that this trend makes their jobs more difficult and puts officers at a higher risk of injury or death <laughs> that extends to everyone the children the elderly and passersby <laughs> passers on the street because the issue is cops are going to be just shooting everywhere so if you're out that's that's that the situation they envision is like in boy scouts trying to help the grandma cross the street for the merit badge or whatever and the grandma's like son do you have a gun and the boy scouts like gotta kill her now I guess that's how this, uh, how the law yeah. works, how the law works now in the in the brain of a lizard. Like, Look, rather any, than anyone could have a gun, rather than officers reserving their firearms for only the most dangerous situations, <laughs> such as <laughs> such as a young kid slinging weed. Right <laughs> now, cops are going to have to worry that any civilian could have the means to use deadly force. Uh, tensions are going to rise. <laughs> Trust is going to decline. Trust could <laughs> listen. Tensions could not rise if we just shot them. <laughs> like if we just shot all the civilians. <laughs> oh, that's just great. Because well, they had a spotless track record up till now, and then this this will make it that's so true. that this will make it so that their their spot record might have spots. They make yeah, it spotty. be spots. <laughs> civilians might win some of the engagements. <laughs> that, would, that would certainly be a spot. Oh, so that's so <sighs> awful. Um, all right, let's, 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 and civilians <laughs> and civilians. Don't you just love huh. that? A lot of what's, people don't. What's, what's the lesson there? What's the what's the moral of that story? <laughs> like, I feel like that's one of those stories where you just want to take a big mirror and hold it up. <laughs> <laughs> what do you see? Like there, there's just undertones there. It's interesting. Hmm. Yeah.
The way you think about yourself. This is, is how weird. they think of themselves. <laughs> yep. But anyway, the more equal pigs and the rest yeah. of the farm animals. <laughs> <laughs> but hey, there is good news. Is there? VZ Grips is still on the internet. That's true. So VZ Grips, another supporter of the show. These guys are great. Florida company. They got the G10 ally, alloy. <laughs> and they have all kinds of products that they make out of it, including the Hydra G10 dagger, the VZ Boomerang full-size grips for the for the, the Clolt M1911. Um, yeah, we got... So let's... I don't know. Mr. Ivan, what would you... What like what kind of gun would you want to grip for? Hmm. Let's do shop all. The only the only gun good gun to to grip is a gun worth gripping. Yeah. So what, what do we do? <laughs> Riffle, semi-auto pistolet, or I think, revolver? I think last time we looked at the semi-auto pistol. So let's look okay. at the let's look at the riffle grips because revolvers grips. revolvers aren't real. Extreme demand. Okay. So we got AR-15, mm-hmm. Scar. Well, why why do they why do they let, let's look at let's look at one for good guns so. Let's go uh, back. <laughs> yeah, let's go back. <laughs> where's the AK ones? What? Yeah, where's that? So semi-auto or revolver raider? Let's look at the revolver raiders. Okay. Even though they're not real guns, they can still be good. I the, like the Colt ones. Cobra. You like Colt Cobras? Colt Cobras are kind of cool. Yeah, they're a little cool. They have a dancing oh, horse on the gun named after a snake. It's cool. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's kind of cool. I like this tactical diamond. It's, you're you're a you're you're a little revolver guy that I held when I was when I was there and held and I and I held your and I held your gun. Mm-hmm. I had these on it, didn't it? The it was, VZ grips. Yeah. That was nice. Yep. I have this guy right here. I liked them. This is the Smith and Western Hyena Brown, and that's the 320, which is the lightest texture. And here you can get this is a, a little more aggressive, the Tactical Diamond. I think that would be a great choice. I like the way this uh, the the black cherry kind of looks like wood a little bit. In the other cultures, you could get thin blue black, hyena brown. That's the right choice. Black gray, black cherry, and black. There's three different blacks <laughs> you can have. But yeah, so if you guys use code this week fifteen, you're gonna get fifteen percent off your order. That's a big amount. That's a big money amount. So. Check them out. They support the show. They're from Florida. That's all good stuff. You need to go and buy the thing and send them. Then you get them to do the anime on your gun. Okay. Yeah, that's all true. Right. Tell them anime. Matt sent you. <laughs> just, just put in the notes. Put the anime on the gun. <laughs> <laughs> and nobody gets hurt. It puts the anime on the gun. <laughs> Else it gets the memes again. <laughs> so in this next section now, we're going to talk about some stuff that was talked about last week getting undone. <laughs> so oh, there's going to be too it's very like and it goes oh, we'll have some ups and downs it'll be an emotional journey so first up let's talk about that oregonian thing right yay so last week we talked about oregon ballot measure 114 which shows us just how great and not a joke democracy is. Being that... <laughs> it did literally did the meme it's like 51 percent of people vote that we should eat the 49 percent of people <laughs> we should set them on fire <laughs> That makes sense. <laughs> no, <laughs> that well, makes... The majority wants it. Yeah, so now, interestingly, the sheriff and others, sheriff and friends, have sued to block the gun restrictions. They're saying that, you know, such common sense things, such as banning magazines over 10 rounds and making it so everybody has to have a permission slip in order to acquire a gun, might violate some kind of constitution. What do you think about this? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> N- never heard of her. <laughs> uh the the whole measure one fourteen thing is weird because I I know I know there's other instances of ballot measure gun control having passed, right. but this one is like particularly strange because uh the, the sort of like timeline that it, that was laid forth for this was like they were supposed to implement a ton of things that the state police were by no means equipped to actually implement and they had right. to implement it by like tomorrow, <laughs> and then uh whenever the state legislature went and like tweaked the language of it and like hashed out exactly what the definitions would be, they moved up the timeline another month. <laughs> so the state police like this isn't going to happen like we don't we don't know how to run background checks on people with our own background checks mm-hmm. like there's a there's a similar thing in the uh the hellhole of illinois where i live and they have more or less the same system and it it took them like four years to get to the point where it's at now and it still isn't perfect like they, they, they can't even process people's credit cards to pay for the background checks in the system it's terrible nice so uh yeah that's it's, good uh, It'll take it'll take Oregon about four years to pull this off, not one month. <laughs> so 
So yeah, it's uh, I, I'm I'm certainly I'm cheesed to see that there's lawsuits coming along, because yeah. uh, because geez, it's it, it's an absolute like the the the, the magazine capacity <laughs> thing is like one thing, but like the the, the incredible overreach and then like like it literally is the it's the democracy meme. Where it's like fifty-one percent of people decide that forty-nine percent of people have to give the fifty-one percent all their money, or else, or else they go to jail. Bye bye. <laughs> like, I don't think you get. I don't think you get to do that. <laughs> we voted. You have to give me all your stuff. So, the interesting thing that I read is how even the sheriffs in um, what's the name of this stupid county, Mul Multnoma, which is where. Portland is right, and Portland is, of course, where the bad people are. <laughs> yeah, it's where the stuff does things. Yeah. So when they were asked if they would give force to it, they didn't just straight say yes, but they kind of hummed and hawed. <laughs> like, <laughs> yep. We're gonna try to figure out what they want. Is what they said. The Multon County Sheriff's Office is evaluating how Measure One Fourteen may impact operations. <clears throat> we will be working with lawmakers, key stakeholders. And our public safety <laughs> partners to determine how to best implement a system that meets the requirements of Measure One Fourteen. <laughs> yeah, you know what's you know what's you know what's really bad gun control, and even the cops are like, guys, <laughs> yeah. guys, yeah. Um, who, who's are the you key sure? stakeholders? <laughs> like, was that like, just Boomberg? Well, I, yeah, I was about to say key stakeholders is probably the moms demanding action. Here's their yeah, action. Those, yeah, the grandmoms. Well. <laughs> like, and so you might also remember last week we talked about how much of New York's carry law was uh, enjoined. Yes. Well, now this week, <laughs> no, we put it back. <laughs> you can, 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 you can. On Tuesday, a federal uh, appeals court temporarily reinstated parts of the concealed carry law after a judge last week blocked some of it that restricted it in certain public places. I'm trying to remember which I, th I think it was this most recent one like the, the judge's excuse or whatever for for like 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 a, reversing the injunction or whatever or yeah, staying the injunction enjoy, yeah, temporarily saying yeah it was a uh, it was like some some absolute nonsense like well we have to slow down and figure out what's going on yeah Just, and the funny thing is is when you're handling these types of things maintaining the status quo is supposed to be an important consideration and now the court of appeals is like ah, mm, <laughs> ah, it was the status quo for like three weeks let's do the other one <laughs> <laughs> we have to be fair and switch back and forth every week is this is this a week you can carry or not <laughs> yeah yeah that must be it must be really interesting being a new york cop you know <laughs> and I, I take that back <laughs> I take it back entirely. God, that'd be that'd be really that'd be really weird. Like, like of course, like cops are like draft just across the country are like drastically undertrained, not only on federal laws but state laws even. Right. Like they're not usually kept up to speed with changes that are even like years old, and so stuff that it's like changing literally every week. There's there's no way that this gets enforced in a uniform or fair and or just manner. Yep, that's literally the, the, impossible. The, you know, the courts, it's like, you know, one, one remove from the decisions being made can't even keep it straight. Right. And so uh, you, you go like many, many removes from there to like cops who get flow down or whatever. And they're just like, eh, can we arrest these guys or not? I hate this world. It's rough. <laughs> what it's is rough. the what is the term that we uh, we had for this back in college? <clears throat> oh, yeah. Fuck this gay earth. <laughs> um, <laughs> but so you know what? We need to just relax for a second. <clears throat> we need to tone it down. We need to decompress. All right? Yeah. So do me a favor. Take a deep breath. <gasps> <gasps> and now in order to maintain proper relaxation, let it out really fast all at once. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> so now you know what helps with this type of meditation? I don't think I can say wind chimes. <laughs> wind chimes, right? The wind chimes. So that's what another, I was thinking. Another great supporter <laughs> of our program is the manufacturer de Herm et Carillon de Floride, uh, which is MAF Corporation. Now, if you go to maf-arms.com, you will find 
some incredible deals on all kinds of stuff. Uh, they've got AR components. They've got downloads, uh, bundle it, save. And then for you hardcore DIY guys, they've got wind chime kits. And what I, what I really like to point out here is the chime time section. If you follow MAF on Twitter, you'll see that occasionally there's a chime time where things are put on a deep discount. And right now under chime time, we've got some of the cheapest you'd ever possibly see on AR parts. We've got these funny uppers, right? Uh, Blem raw aluminum AR-10 uppers. We're talking $54. I have not seen that before. AR-15 uppers for as low as $25. And uh, bolt carrier groups, blemish bolt carrier groups, under $50. And then they've also got the bry pods. They got <laughs> grand pods. Uh, you see Blem raw 2469 buffer tubes, barrels, just all kinds of items that are available for sale. Koozies. And a lot of this stuff currently says out of stock, but don't worry, I'll fix it. Uh, we have them. I don't know. What What do you like here that's on chime time, Mr. Ivan? Well, I like to do a, a, a ringy, rhymey chime. <laughs> but uh, another thing that's fun is like uh, you can do like a super budget build or whatever. Like this was... This was a thing that like on, on, on the Reddits they used to do where they'd like, right. compete and see who could build the actual cheapest AR. Mm -hmm. And I know that, that you know that, that's that's done and over with now. People aren't even competing anymore, but they could do another competition. And uh, I'm I'm pretty sure with some of these prices you've got it. Because like a you know, bolt carrier group at like fifty bucks yep. or whatever. <clears throat> I mean blim the upper itself cares. Twenty four sixty nine. Right. And they're these like they're these weird modular things. Oh look, that's me. <laughs> oh wow how do they taste modulators. um that's aluminum <laughs> so you can get the little inserts here and see they're uh they're linked down here people have been buying these forward assist ones a lot and i'm kind sense. of annoyed <laughs> it's like <laughs> why either like I'll, i'm gonna tell you a little cheat code you don't need it at all you can just have a hole. In but what side. about the what the guy the guy who did the parkour on the ground and there's just a skateboard and then he, he <laughs> said he did it with the, yeah, the guy yeah. the guy so, the guy with the parkour. If it was me, I would get the slick side block off. I wouldn't put a a brass deflector on, but a lot <gasps> of people want to. You know whatever, and I just have it be clean, light, easy. Um, but people keep. So I can only find one legitimate use for this product right here, the uh, forward assist insert, where you, to add a forward assist to the upper. Yeah. And that is to force feed a 223 barrel of 300 blackout. <laughs> the 223 barrel can have a 300 blackout. It's a little treat. <laughs> With this little trick. <laughs> treat, 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 treat. <laughs> <laughs> so, Are you um, hungry? <laughs> so you, should, you guys should buy these uppers put it together and i think with the, with the stuff we have on here you can put an upper together for like there was a guy 150 bucks there was a guy on twitter that had like 180 dollars with sites a complete upper which is which is kind of cracked <laughs> yeah we, this is cracked by maf corporation <laughs> and guys if you go on there if you use promotional code frn that's foxtrot romeo november it will one let us know whether or not these radio ads are working and two give you a discount on top of what's going on here. This is going to be a big money savings to you, the consumer. And if you build a cheap AR, then you have an AR that was cheap. <laughs> That's true. <laughs> That's true. Actually, I read that this, in the book. Once. This is the wisdom of a dizzy rat. <laughs> <laughs> it is nice to have a just stupid cheap AR. Yeah, because the nice thing about it is you can do well. They might not like it if you do it at the uh, at the uh, indoor range where there's an RSO watching you, but you can do dumb stuff with your gun, like just chuck it like over, overhead, like it's an axe, just fling it. Because if 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 it costs like 150 bucks, like you, you can you can be a little stupid with it, yeah, be, exactly. be a little goofy. Or if you're like, oh, I'd like to try one of them stupid calibers, you know. That's also true. If if you want to have a, if you don't want to like get heavily invested in, in some silly made up caliber. <laughs> Yeah, like five, five, six. <laughs> yeah, that one's bad. <laughs> yeah, that's a bad caliber. And of course, what's the barrel length? That's the correct one for these. Uh, for for five, five, six, or yeah, for five, five, six, or for any intermediate cartridge like that. Uh, twenty inches. That's is twenty the only, inches. The only available option. And why is that? 
Uh, so because it was actually a diversity program. So in the 80s, you know, everybody was becoming more diverse and inclusive. And this is all true. You can look it up. Don't ask me for a source. It's just true. But uh, Colt wanted to become more diverse of, and, and diverse and sell guns to, uh, to to women and children and cripples. And so that's that's the reason that they stopped doing 20 inch guns, actually. <laughs> so I started making these little 16 inch ones for like little babies with, with small arms or you know, pe- people who in tragic accidents only had one arm or, or women and, uh, and cripples otherwise. Yeah. And for really small, compact people, I started making little short little baby guns for, for little babies. I read that's that okay. in the book once. That's OK, because like the 20 inch guns, you can still get them and 20 inch is really good and that's that's what it makes a real gun but then there's people who want their little 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 baby ones that's okay because they're they're gonna be they're gonna be hardcore cqb operators and they're gonna, they're gonna kick down doors and you don't understand because they, they have to take their gun in their backpack for all the times that the gun's <laughs> in the backpack that's why they need their stock to fold up real good too that's important they need to do that they're gonna do that a lot and kick down yeah, doors. they can do it every day they're gonna go yeah. camping they're gonna go camping with their uh eight inch five five six and yeah. impress the bear they encounter with their nine millimeter muzzle energy. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're invariably going to be the same exact people that are like, pistol caliber carbines don't make sense. Nine mils, <laughs> not that much energy. It's the size of a rifle. You could just have a short barreled rifle. And these people also have tinnitus because of their eight inch flash banger that delivers nine mil muscle energy. <laughs> It, like twice the cost per round <laughs> and they'll sit here and vehemently defend this like they're the ones making rational decisions but, and they're like but the pistol calibers won't defeat armor you think that 223 at 1800 foot per second is going <laughs> to defeat anything <laughs> it's just gonna make it's a going to make a big noise it, in fact it will defeat something and it's the entire purpose of rifle calibers thank you <laughs> <laughs> i love that when we talked about that and i kind of well, and we realized that 308 out of a 16 inch barrel was 762 by 39. I think, I think it's 12. Oh, 12. It's, 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 it's somewhere, yeah. somewhere down around there. It's like you know, 308 is a, an example of with its slow burning powder. It's designed around. It does horribly bad the shorter the barrel gets. Like yeah. it, you know, it, it was designed around a 22, does fine in a 20, down to 18. Okay, 16. It's like, eh. but then the shorter you get past 16, it starts doing like horribly worse. <laughs> To the point where, like, you're just shooting very big, expensive, loud 762 by 39. <laughs> Heavy, too. And and what is the so? What's the I know we talked about this. What's the length of 556 where it effectively is nine? I, th- I think it's I think it's under 11 inches, maybe it's 10 or 11, where it becomes having it's you know, f- from that same barrel length, the 10 or 11 inch barrel that you're shooting nine NATO out of. Mm-hmm. It's the same. <laughs> Which is which is just kind of funny because it, it will always be the same people defending their, their short yeah. barrel ARs will be the ho 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 pistol caliber carbines don't make sense. <laughs> Speaking of that, guys, MAF has ten inch AR nine barrels. That's true. Just and that, that yeah. I think you know, from a from a ballistic standpoint, like nine inch is the perfect length for a nine millimeter barrel. So if you're at ten, that's that's there. Yeah. God, I love ballistics. <laughs> <laughs> it's so funny. It's funny because it destroys dreams. <laughs> no, but and I'm then they're like, AR. "Oh, 300 blackout! Why would you shoot 300 blackout from anything longer than a, than a four inch barrel?" It's like, well, <laughs> well, <laughs> if you have if you had a four inch barrel and then like a significant can, at least it wouldn't be loud, I guess. Right. What I like so the times I use 300 blackout is I use it as a 7.62 by 39 replacement in guns right. that are the correct size for that. Right. And then people are all like, what are you doing? That's not the purpose of the cartridge. Like, Excuse me. I'd like to actually hit something good. <laughs> <laughs> I'd like to hit it hard, if you don't mind. Oh. Well, anyways. Anyways. <laughs> anyways. So next, we got, we got a good story now. Listen, the attorney. <laughs> so well, let's, let's back up here. Let's do some backstory. <laughs> oh, this so, one's good. This one's California. good. California. So Assault weapons definition has been very funny in that they've been fine-tuning it for like 30 years now. (laughs) And they like... So previously, they had a definition that said, you know, it has to be whatever round magazine and has to feed from that magazine. And that's where the bullet button came in. uh, Right? Because it was a fixed magazine and they drop it out, whatever, do, do whatever. Then they fixed the law because they hated the bullet, bullet button and took out where it says you have to feed from the magazine. So then a funny company <laughs> came out with the fifty. That's the fixed it for you. Here, let's see. <laughs> so this is, this is so, so good. Smart. So 
California Attorney General has come out with this pressed release, right? Saying, guys, stop it. <laughs> stop <laughs> bullying me. <laughs> Attorney General Bonta warns gun parts manufacturer to immediately stop selling misleading product. And they're saying all this stuff. Uh, DOJ finds manufacturer Sky Tactical Supply wrongly claimed its 50 rifle attachment allows buyers to evade California's assault weapon laws. Uh, and this is important because California's assault weapon ban is a critical tool to prevent death and tragedy, not a technicality to try to get around, despite, you know, <laughs> everything that's ever happened. <laughs> well, and so that's, if I can interject, this is an interesting point that I saw Reno May bring up first, where yeah. this same attorney general, Rob Bonta, is arguing in court that California's assault weapons ban can actually stay because there's loopholes and ways people can get around it. It's fine. This ban can stay in place. You know, the, the, the ban on assault we assault right weapons themselves can stay because there's loopholes to get around them. Yeah. And then whenever somebody does the loophole to get around them, he's like, stop it. The law says you can't do that. So he, he like has his cake and he eats it too. And well, listen, all these guys that treat our gun laws like a game are playing with the lives of families and children. <laughs> Not only is this company, is this company ignoring and sowing confusion about a law that protects Californians. It's also misleading its customers into buying a useless product to line its own pockets. Today's cease and desist letter is a clear warning that sky tactical supply ignores at its peril. The California department of justice will hold accountable those who flout our state's common sense gun laws. I don't like this guy. So let's take a look at the product. <laughs> <laughs> That's it. That's it. That right there. That's it. So what they're doing is they give you a grip, a mo grip, that has a little like a little set screw that pins a five shot twenty two LR. <laughs> <laughs> it's fixed. It's fixed. Oh, because there's, oh, there's got a link to the website. They're providing advertisement for the thing. Yeah, That's there we go. Funny. Fixed it for you. <laughs> fixed magazine cage. Oh my god. Yeah, and this is great. It's funny because like the way the way the laws you currently written, you know, it, it can be an assault weapon. If it doesn't have a fixed, you know, if it has a detachable magazine or if it has a fixed magazine, more than 10 rounds. But right. if the gun has a fixed magazine less than five rounds, it it automatically you know, misses all of the mm -hmm. checks for is it an assault weapon? And that they end up defining magazine is like it's just any cartridge feeding device. Mm -hmm. So if you have any cartridge to feeding device affixed to the gun, which means has to be removed via a tool right. and that, that that tool shouldn't be something that's just like something you have near you. It should be like an actual thing we recognize as a tool, like an Allen wrench or whatever. Yeah. Like and that. So, long as, so long as it's removable with such a tool, why at that point, that's a fixed magazine and that fixed magazine has a capacity less than five rounds. Unfortunately, and, they stopped selling it. Yeah. It, it, it seems like they're per perhaps, I mean, I guess it may be smart, but uh, look at it, all this crap they wrote. And I think it's probably because it seems like it's a small company and it wasn't one that was like prepared to, to go mm -hmm. and fight a great big legal battle. But uh, I mean, it, I, to me, at least it seems like with a, with the right group of competent lawyers or whatever, you could totally actually fight them over this. Cause yeah, what the law says is what, I mean, they're, they're following exactly what the law says. Yep. I, I, although I'll, I will piss on sky tactical real quick. You applied for a fucking patent, you monkeys. Yeah, that's dumb. That's insane. Stop. That's dumb. Why stop would you patent being that this? Way. Why would yeah. you patent this? What you wasted your money? Uh, like, I'm sure a patent lawyer told you, "Oh yeah, no, we can give it a go." Oh yeah, <laughs> yeah. Just go ahead and pay the the fifteen thousand dollar retainer, and we'll give it a go. We can patent putting a uh, magazine in a pistol grip. No one's done that before. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's probably never been tried. Yeah, no. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> I think we'll give it a go. Uh, but yeah, so <laughs> this is the, the legal analysis in the cease and desist letter. And it kind of tells you a lot when, uh, California is sending you a full le legal analysis in their cease and desist with that. Maybe they're not that confident. <laughs> Listen, the department has concluded that the 50 in installed 
with the suggested magazine is not a fixed magazine and thus would not render a semi-automatic centerfire rifle exempt from the two definitions of assault weapon previously described, okay? <laughs> and then they go on to give the definitions, which totally include this. California yeah. regulations define a fixed magazine as an ammunition feeding device contained in or permanently attached to a firearm in such a manner that the device cannot be removed without uh, disassembly of the firearm action. And I know they, they complained about, like, well, it doesn't feed from the magazine, but nowhere in the yeah, actual the law, law or the it, penal code or anything else, the law or the penal code site, does it say it has to feed from the magazine? Well, no, they deliberately took that out because of the... <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's so good. Oh, my God. Patent pending, patent pending. Because mm. the, 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 the way that they ended up dealing with the bullet button is they made it so, like, uh, the, the 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 magazine itself can't just like drop out of the gun and right. then be replaced because you know the bullet button just worked by like you took a bullet and used you had to push the magazine release in with a bullet or other pointed implement like a screwdriver. Do you remember when guys had like things taped to their thumbs? Yeah, that was pretty that funny. Was a... <laughs> that was such a thing. But uh, like 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 I guess you're, that's a tool or whatever. But then they're like, well, no, it doesn't have to be a tool because because the magazine you can't fall out and then be put back in. And then they grandfathered the like didn't grandfather they let the people who had bullet button guns get on the assault rifle registry or assault weapon registry right and then uh chain you know, tweaked the language in their law real quick and then rolled the dice again and people will continue to find ways around it because for you know for, for being the guys leading the charge of writing these sorts of laws they're shockingly bad at it like yeah no they're like grossly incompetent the <laughs> they're grossly incompetent. like there are states who have laws that are hard to get around and it's not california like like how was how was their definition of of magazine not going to include like it has to use it in some capacity nope they don't care right or their definition yeah. of their definition of fixed is like you have to use a tool to remove it which i guess is okay but like Geez, and I guess the the, the current v version of it says it has to be the rifle has to be partially disassembled in order to use a tool right. to remove it. But you have to take the pistol grip off to disassemble this. So it's it, I mean it's, it's kind of slick. I like it. Mm -hmm. Yep, <laughs> it's it's I I think it's funny. But anyway, let's move on now to another stupidness. Maryland. This is a Maryland is a. Did you know, Mister Ivan, that Maryland is bad? Yes, this has been known. Okay, well, Maryland has now voted to restrict gun possession. A, a county, a specific county in Maryland, sorry, has voted to restrict gun possession in most public places. I love voting. We should we should just vote. We should just vote. We should get fifty one percent of people to vote. That forty nine percent of people don't get to vote anymore. <laughs> That's what we should do. That's a smart way to do it. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, you, you just like boil that down enough times, and it's like we have a monarchy. <laughs> how many how many times do you have to boil that down, simmer it, reduce it until it's a it's a fine mushroom reduction? Right. This is so <laughs> and I get to make all of the rules. So no, this is the city council, and we all know that city council governments are the best ones because right. they right <laughs> they are not just a bunch of weird boomers with time monopolies. No, They're no, the good government. Yes, of course. and they voted unanimously. No, they all course. agreed on Tuesday to ban the possession of firearms within 100 yards of a place of public assembly. Interesting. Now, of course, it's it's got some exemptions for cops. Oh yeah, and they security have to. guards, private security, you know, their own private security, and your course. house, Jeez. right? Right. Um, but it also bans possession of firearms in most public places, including a park, a place of worship, school, a library, a recreational facility, a hospital, a community health center, a long-term facility, or a multi-purpose exhibition facility, such as a fairgrounds or conference center. Literally just everywhere. Just just tell us where we can carry, because at that point, it's easy. It's a shorter list. It's a small price to pay, man. It's a small. We're gonna keep all the children safe from the people who are. I mean, like because the 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 re restrictions on what you can carry and where you can carry it have always struck me as being particularly stupid. Because like the people who are going to like do something with a gun in these places you don't want them to aren't going to be upset by a 10 year penalty for doing it. Right. Uh, they're, they're, they're rolling for like the whole life sentence. Uh, uh, you need to listen. You need to stop with that. That's nonsense. Yeah, listen, sorry. This legislation will help ensure that we do everything possible to minimize the number of guns in our public space. Yes. That's what it will do. Except that is except, exactly. <laughs> except we're not minimizing it. Are we? Cause cops can still have them. 
<laughs> we're not minimizing anything. Yeah, the people who can be trusted least with guns will certainly right. still have them. We're trying to maximize the number of the right people, the people who aren't, you know, there's there's cops and citizens, not the citizens one, we want the other one. They're okay. Yeah, we the, trust the, them. The They're occupying good. forces. <laughs> um, <laughs> uh no listen man this makes sense it's common sense uh Very look, common. they had confident that the maryland general assembly will take action but this is urgent it's given the urgency urgent. of gun violence in montgomery county he felt strongly that they couldn't wait at the local level so what they, of course so what they were going to do is, is just shit it up really good yep so that and and write it in a way that their little local little tiny you know non cum laude graduate interns would help them do in a very sloppy and slipshod manner to make sure it gets overturned of right. course yeah that's so then they can they cry win. foul and go oh gosh the nra they did yeah. this to us <laughs> they, they're, gonna... <laughs> <laughs> they're having their interns jam the stick in the bicycle wheel and then going oh <laughs> the nra that's right yeah the twitching corpse of the nra i'm sure will be blamed they did it they did it but this is pretty horrible and i hate maryland yes, i will course. say that yeah, this is an article written by Paul Best at Fox News. Paul Best, what a name! Thanks, Paul. <laughs> Thanks, Paul. All right. Next up, we have a word from our sponsor, Tech Pack. Tech Pack is a loot box service. All right, you get the loot box just like in the video game that you like. Video whichever game. one that is. Uh, look, November specific. If you subscribe, <laughs> I haven't gotten the new one, but if you subscribe by the end of the month you'll receive the December box, okay? If you order the standard box, you'll receive $111 worth of gear for $4,995. The uh, October box plus includes a monstrous USA-made AR-15 item valued at $130 with a total box value of $255 with products from Battle Arms Development, Luth AR, and Cross Machine Tool, just to name a few. You'll receive seven items if you order the plus box. And if you use our exclusive code, which is WEEK, W-E-E-K, uh, you will get at least $70 worth of free gear that will ship separately from your standard subscription. And that means if you get the plus box, you'll get $325 worth of gear. Okay, so guys, that's TAC Pack, uh, T-A-C-P-A-C-K dot com. Uh, promo code is W-E-E-K. They are a supporter of the show. So just take a look, okay? Take a look. Just look at it. Look at it right now. I can't. All right. Loot eyes. box. Um, all right. <laughs> Did you take a look at this? You look at this? Camera guy, you getting this? Did you... <laughs> Did you... Listen, there's a... I... there's a cat called Glox. G L O C K Z. <laughs> He's finally in custody. This notorious oh, no. Virginia man. He's in custody. Dude, that rubber band grip, dude. Dude, Hell that's big. yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this is the gun. The <laughs> gun hardcore. hasn't appeared after it was seized by a Fairfax County detective. He got the oh, thin blue line. How are they going to do him like that? He yeah, was on their side. Him. You he guys got the thin blue remember. rubber band. Thin band line. <laughs> uh, yeah, notorious Northern Virginia man. He pleaded guilty on Thursday to possessing a gun as a felon after firearms were found in a vehicle as he fled the scene of a drug sting in Fairfax County. So I would just like to talk about the epic adventure of Glocks. So... Uh, <laughs> He was Austrian, right? Yeah. According to court <laughs> records, on April 11th, an undercover cop with Fairfax County uh, arranged to buy cocaine and fentanyl from 28-year-old A.G. Whitaker, a.k.a. Glocks. And that's you definitely know your, some, your, your client <laughs> is down to party when they're buying those two things at the same time. Of course. Uh, when an officer arrived and attempted to arrest Glocks, his co-conspirator tried to leave the scene in a Cadillac Escalade because, of course, <laughs> <laughs> while he was trying to flee, he rammed into a police car <laughs> and then tried to flee on top. Uh, that's a mistake. Don't get out of your car. <laughs> During this time, Whitaker threw a bag into the back of the Escalade, and then when Glocks and his co-conspirator were eventually arrested and the bag was searched by police, they found a semi-automatic ghost <gasps> gun semi-automatic, loaded with a 50-round drum magazine. <gasps> Along oh with another gosh. loaded stick oh magazine. Oh my gosh. The, the two magazines. So I like it. Loaded with a 50 round drum mag along with a stick mag. The two magazines contain a total of 56 rounds of ammunition. Either not good at writing or. <laughs> well, this no, guy which one was downloaded? 
56. Um, yeah, look at it. Look, let's see. Let's let's look at let's look at them winkers right there. Um, yeah. is it? I, I I guess I only see the one stick. <laughs> yeah. Well, there's the drum right there. So yeah, these two photos showing the same unregistered gun seized by authorities were taken from an Instagram account maintained by Whitaker under the username Professor Glocks, again with a Z. <laughs> uh, <laughs> this is great. Uh, he was previously convicted of a felony in Prince William County and is prohibited from having firearms. And so that's that's what he pleaded at the guilty to. Guilty, man. All right, so gotta... next story here. How many times have you been to the fast food service, the quick service food establishment? Had... What's that? How many times have you been to a fast food quick service establishment and had the establishment workers, those lovely workers that are worth whatever amount of money they're demanding now, uh, had them make an error? Uh, most of the time it's been really good for me, but whenever, whenever we were in Texas, it like happened multiple times, like in a day, it was not great. <laughs> like everywhere you went, it was like, okay, I mean, it's not close, but all right. Well, for me, I'd say it's more often than not. Yeah. So it happens, <laughs> but, and I'm a Floridian. Uh, well, there was a man. So let's see, where did this happen? Where does this happen? Let's take bets on the state. Uh, I mean, it, it, it is like sort of a Florida thing, but like. Yeah. And I did have this posted in the Discord from our friend Sabby over at the Bad Guys uh, asking if it was me. <laughs> <laughs> See, what is Gastonia? I said diet. North Carolina. Carolina. North Carolina. Okay. I have sued fast food joints for not giving me diet, so <laughs> I'm sick of it. As one uh, should. But so, yeah. So anyway, we'll quit teasing. <laughs> Man allegedly pulls gun on Wendy's employees after not getting sauce with his meal. <laughs> you don't give me the sauce. You're going to get sauced. <laughs> Wendy's employees closed the drive-thru and called 911 after he allegedly drew a, oh, drew a gun on. over you missing sauce. Call the cops. It's just a misunderstanding. <laughs> Employee said the man, 35, was driving around the parking lot brandishing a gun and refusing to leave. <laughs> <laughs> so this wasn't just a, like he's in the drive-thru and he's like, yo, give me the sauce. And he's like, my man started like roving. <laughs> he's like, get it out. <laughs> the sauce comes out now with his hands up. The officer spoke with an employee at Wendy's who told him that the man was upset that he didn't get any sauce with his meal. The man began arguing with the employee, pulled out a handgun, and threatened to shoot the employee. The employee closed the drive through window and immediately called 911. <laughs> uh, officers who were talking to the man in the parking lot recovered a handgun from the man's pants pocket and determined the gun had been reported stolen in Mecklenburg County. So this is a lesson. Next time you're going to to like pull your gun over the the missing sauce, make sure it's not yeah. the one you stole. Yeah, make sure you do the other gun, gun, regular yeah. gun, because then it's not illegal. Yeah, and I'll confirm that wasn't me. I don't go to North Carolina, aka Discount Virginia. <laughs> I don't want that. Oh, we have one more sponsor word, and you know what? It's turkey time. Huh? Turkey, turkey time. That is, it's turkey season. Yeah, it's turkey saison, and the, my camera doesn't want to focus during turkey saison. Come on, come that's on. Just how the, that's just how the patch looks. Yeah, no, that's how the patch is. Gobble gobble! It's a turkey with night vision gargles. I said it's a night turk. Do 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 can birds any birds see in the dark? Like well, well, they can with GPNVGs. That's for sure. That's true. They got they got panoramic Easy. night vision. GPNVGs in a in a Mark II. Pineapple Wait, hand grenade. Has anybody has anybody ever like given animals night vision to see if they're like like do animals geek out about night vision too? Like put it on, they go whoa, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> whoa. <laughs> is this real? I could what, I could have what, this. <laughs> what what animal would have the most force multiplier out of night vision? Like what what animal that when given night vision it would be the biggest force multiplier for him because like bats and owls it wouldn't really matter because they're already like lethal in the night but hogs hogs yeah, yeah hogs because they can't really see anything 
Yeah. And I feel like if you gave them that at night, they could see pretty good. Oh, especially because everybody, everybody who hunts them is like using like di- digital night vision setups with yep. illuminators because hogs can't see it anyway. Yeah. Now, now the hogs can see you from a mile away, dude. Yeah, they just charge at the light. They'd be ambushing you because like you know the hogs aren't cheap and they don't have this digital stuff. They have real <laughs> they have panoramic real night vision. <laughs> They're gonna see you from a mile away. They're gonna be yeah. waiting for you. <laughs> That's big. Well, anyway, this patch, which inspired this healthy discussion, courtesy <laughs> of Patriot Patch Company. Patriot Patch Company has been the longest supporter of This Week in Guns, at least during my tenure. I super appreciate them as a sponsor. And every month I get one of these patches. So I want you guys to go check them out. I've got a promotional code for you. It's TWIG10. Join the Patch of the Month Club. And like me, you can enjoy one of these patches in your mailing unit every month. It's a real hoot. You know, it's a hauler. I enjoy it. It's a it's a trip. It's a trap. It's wonderful. This month, November exclusive, you'll get a bonus patch with the American Defense thing with the G36 on it. Yeah, that's that's the and gun. That I have a G36. It's a basket. It's a bad gun. <laughs> it's a bad gun. Yeah, if you you shot my G36, right? Yeah, I was. I was. I after all of the Call of Dutying and stuff, and the fact that people chimp out about him, I was like, okay, I really want to see what this is about. It's really awkwardly balanced, and I was like, okay, I sort of expected that. It's you know, it's got AR18 syndrome, right? The piston makes it heavy in the front. Yeah, and then like the trigger is nothing to write home about the ergonomics no, the trigger is something to write home about and how bad it is. <laughs> it, it, it's like not fantastic. It's no, it's the, less than that, dude. It's nightmare level. The, the, the handling and ergonomics are like, eh. I hate the bolt release in the trigger guard. I just don't like well, that. And that was an improvement on the one here. Hold on. Let me grab this. I'm going to give people are going to want to see the people with gun want to see it. <laughs> he wants to see it. It's uh and the, 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 D- d- it, like, when I got this, I gave it the benefit of the doubt, and I got it with the correct barrel length. Right. right? Yep. Here, hold on. I got it with the correct barrel length. I got the long boy, and it just sucks. It's not the, <laughs> it's not the best. Yeah, the stock, the stock release, where it just like kind of like shittily bends over this plastic McGubbin. Mm-hmm. And you have to be very careful not to break it off because it'll shear right off. Like mine's already massively deformed. Um, the trigger is mostly plastic, and it feels yep. that way. Yep. The detent is a plastic ratcheting piece. <laughs> this, like, I hate the charging handle. The charging so, so handle. Yeah. I had an airsoft G36, right? And I always thought that the charging handle felt like really lame on it. And imagine like the real one would feel sturdy, and it would be rigid, and it'd be like. This is respectable. And then right. when I went and felt it, I was like, oh, this feels exactly like an airsoft gun. It is exactly yeah, it has <laughs> no it inspires no confidence. It does not. And we had this uh we had this guy over here, <laughs> and you can push it in. Oh, and you can use it as a forward assist. No, you fucking can't. That shit will break right off. Yeah, it's uh, it's uh it's kind of f- feels fragile. Yeah, it's a it's a it's a pile of junk. And, but like the thing is it's a pile of junk, not for the reasons people think it's a pile of junk. It's like there's nothing wrong with the design inherently. It's just the way they built it's it. It's a pile of junk in all the ways that matter once you go to shoot it. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> otherwise, it's otherwise it's kind of cool, but it's cool looking, and I like it being an AR-18. It's I just like the like... one. I like the one that has the gigantic carry handle, and I thought the integrated optic in the carry handle was super cool. It and is have, cool. It's I also very ha- hard to use. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't got to use one of the guns that had the optics mounted, but I have got to handle one of the optics, and it's it's shockingly nineties. Yeah, it's, it's not, not good. good. <laughs> so I, I have gotten to use one of those, and it was. Let's just say I gave up on expending the money to attach one to my G thirty six. I'm just like, okay, now I have one, and it goes in the pile of guns that don't get shot. So here, like if, if primarily arms listens, what they need to do is make one of those that doesn't suck. Like make 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 a red dot. They can do it so easy. Make a red dot 3X prism combo, but make it not suck. Or just like put an LPVO, put like your smallest LPVO in a in a Douglas for it. Yeah. Maybe we should do that. That'd be kind of cool. Never mind primary arms. We're just going to do it. Okay? <laughs> Never mind. Yeah, forget you it. That. Forget what I said. Yeah. We anyway, patented guys. it. Patent. This is a patent. Promo code TWIG10 for Patriot Patch Company. That's all for today. Thank you guys so much for coming. And as always, we will see you next time. Goodbye.